Hello guys, this is Kudo, and today in this video I will show you how you can know if a video play in Unity is finished or not. So let's get started. So last time we see we had the video in the Unity player. So again, if I hit play, you will see my video will uh, start it. And um, what we want to know about this video, we want to know when it's finished. We need to want to, we want to do something. All right. So first thing we need to do is to create a C sharp script. So let's create a C sharp script, and let's call it a video script. All right. You can call it whatever you want. It's basically up to you. So let's open it. So. When you open the, uh, the, um, the script, so let's add a uh, first thing use, uh, using uh, unity uh, engine dot video because we will need uh, this library. We don't need the update function and just the start function will be work fine. So let's create a first uh, serialized field and let's call uh, video player and let's call it my video player sorry my video player all right and what we need to create it's another function so let's say void and let's call it um, uh, do something do uh, something when video Finish. So sorry, I'm not um, I'm not inspired about this video uh, about this name of this function. So about this function, make sure it take on parameter video player, and let's call it maybe VP. It's just fine. And in this VP, basically you can do whatever you want. So if you want at the end of the video, maybe to to set active for the, um, the game object you can if you want to call another video you can but basically it's up to you i would just say uh, debug i would just say debug uh, dot log uh, yay sorry um, yay the video is finished all right and um, sorry all right and basically what we need to do is just call my video player so my video player dot loop point reach plus equal sorry plus equal plus equal and we went, we need to call our function so i don't know if you're familiar with this type of uh, this type of function but this function is a delegate function basically this function is subscribed to an event and this event is just when the function when the video when the video my player is finished if it's finished we just subscribe to another function and this function is called so so um, i will not uh, um, uh, put the detail on this thing maybe I will do a video about the delegate function maybe one day if I got some time but basically you don't need to understand that as soon as this uh, video in question is finished he will call this function in even if is the function is only create on the start function because this uh, this function is subscribed to this other function so I hope I make it clear. I know it's maybe uh, new for some people who just watch this video, but uh, keep in mind, maybe I will do another video uh, uh, video about the delegate, but keep in mind, it just works like this. This one subscribe, this function subscribe to this one. And as soon as this function, uh, as soon as this uh, video is finished, it will just call this function. That's it. And make sure you got this parameter, a video player VP. Or maybe video player, whatever you 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 want. So um, let's head back to Unity and uh, let's uh, create uh, an empty game object and let's drag and drop our video script. And do not forget to drag and drop your video player and uh, make sure our con the console is serious. So right, let's clear it. 
and let's hit play and let's hear the beautiful cheetah <laughs> and you will see in the console as soon as the video is finished the debug.log and voila as soon as the video is finished you see the debug.log is showing so that's it guys so hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you like the content subscribe thumb up if you don't like just uh, dislike it's okay but again help me to improve and um, i catch you guys next time bye bye